Niala! Niala! Wake up! I think I saw breakfast! I saw a large peccary walk by the- no, Don't growl at me like that, Niala. If you want to eat, then we need to go and get this peccary. I think I saw it wander by the entrance to our jungle den. <gasps> there it is! It's a boar! Oh yeah. Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Ultimate Jungle Simulator. We are here with Hinta and Niala, the protectors of the ancient temple ruins. Fighting this huge boar. Look at that! We did it, Niala! Oh, I'm so proud. Look at that. I'm carrying him on my back even. And we are going to carry him inside and drop him off here inside of the house. Wonderful. Or I should say inside of our ruins. And we are back. And I'm... Uh, should I eat it? I think I'm going to leave him here. I'm going to leave him so we can see if he's going to turn into one of those carcasses. If you leave it and come back, then sometimes there is a very nifty carcass waiting for you inside of your den. And we'll go ahead and just kind of eat up the the meat that we've already collected as our breakfast and then we are going to be adventuring with our two tigers of the jungle so I think I have told you guys quite a few pretty awesome tiger facts by now about how tigers are the biggest of the big cats where they are normally found that you probably won't actually find a tiger in a tree so this empty temple ruins is a much better home for Niala and uh Hinto, look at him isn't he just so adorable and I love their story, so it's going to be really fun to see where these two end up going. Let me come down. I'm going to just a little bit closer. There we go. I'm going to nibble on the water. Nibble on the water. I'm going to drink some of the water. And we are going to spend today working with them to try to get them to level up. Because if we can level these two up, then they are actually going to be able to work on having a tiger cub of their very own in the family. To do that, we have to open up the slot by getting either Hinto or Niala a high enough level. Uh, but I think we can get there. So let's see what they're at now. And I really love all of the stories and the ideas. Keep them coming for what the history of what Niala is hiding and what she is protecting here and the thing that and that's why she's probably a white tiger is she was bred specifically her ancestors at least to protect this temple but i wonder what used to happen here what kind of ancient knowledge was kept i'm gonna eat just one bite so that we're not quite so hungry and we're gonna leave the pig and we're gonna see if it's going to turn into a carcass for us and is that a fish okay let's wiggle our way over here I think I have found breakfast and it is some delicious looking fish and we're gonna see if we're gonna find enough prey to be able to eat up a big meal all right we got a good fish and we're going to defend our territory from other tigers but you guys wasn't that so weird to find a giraffe in the jungle of all things last time I was not expecting that is this lily pad strong enough to hold me it is that's so cool they must be like Queen Victoria lily pads the biggest lily pads in the world but it was really fun to find a giraffe in the jungle and it was also a little bit weird because you would not normally find a giraffe in the jungle that is definitely a savanna creature what's over here is that like where my home is and that's why it has some food over there huh Hinto, look at him he is just such a goose all right let's find some food all right and his excellent senses say that we should go this way. I think that's really fun that Niala doesn't really know how to work her way around the bigger part of the jungle. But it seems like Hinto had a really good mother. Really, oh, I saw it. I saw it. What was it? It was so big and fat. I want to eat it. <gasps> What's happening over here? Oh my gosh. There's like, oh my goodness gracious, a couple jaguars and they were fighting a hippo. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is a grand battle. All right, we've got this jaguar down. We've got this jaguar down. It was almost taken out by the hippo. Let's eat the hippo. Holy moly. This is going to give us a little bit of food for a while. You think the hippo would really fill you up. This is awesome. There we go. And we have like, oh, we ate the jaguar apparently. But like I like to say, uh, for creatures like that. Oh, and there's a cockatoo and a lion. Excuse you. There's so much outside of the temple this morning. This is amazing. No wonder Niala never really goes that far. She's got enough to keep her busy just right at the entrance of the temple grounds. And there's a lemur or a monkey in the distance. There's suddenly so much food around. And I can't believe the lion just like came over and got this bird. Well, I'm going to eat it for you. All right, come on, buddy. I'm the king of the jungle. You're not. All right, let's take out this lion. What is a lion and what are some of these guys doing here? This must be a very, very special place. Maybe it's related to the temple that Nyala runs or like, well, Nyala protects. All right. So we've managed to take out the king of the savannah. 
but I'm the king of the jungle and tigers are actually larger than lions, which is something I knew, but I had forgotten and you guys reminded me and it just really reminded me why I think tigers are so cool. All right, let's come over here. We're going to do a little bit of digging, see if there's anything here. I think, oh, there's a bunch of worms. Am I going to get attacked by a bunch of worms now? I sure am. All right, let's see. Did I get all of them? I think I got all of them. All right. So we got some worms. I'm going to go ahead and eat them. I think that Hinto comes from a background where his mother was very strict about not wasting any resource and any food. Uh, so that's why he would go ahead. <laughs> Nyao is learning how to play like we do. He would go ahead and make absolutely sure to find every piece of prey he possibly could, even the worms. And I wonder if Niala comes from a more privileged background where that seems kind of weird to her to even take a break to eat worms. She's probably a little bit more of an elitist when it comes to food. All right, speaking of food, I know I saw somebody jumping around over here. So, uh, is that a little frog? And... Oh my gosh, it's fighting back! You're not supposed to fight back, you're a frog! Did I get it? I think I got it. Alright, I'm gonna eat it. Alright, there we go. Good! Well, see, we can definitely contribute to the family at least. And I feel like that's a great reason for why Niala would keep Hinto around. Is that a chimp? They're really strong, so I'm a little concerned about this, but not as concerned- Okay, I will admit, Niala, you seem to have some excellent skills of, like, flying in midair. You must have learned those mystic talents from your time at the uh, the hidden temple in the jungle. It's actually kind of awesome, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna go ahead and praise you a couple times. Let's see what's over here. This looks really cool. I just love this whole area and I feel like this big swampy area would- Oh, it's a den! No way! Just right out in the open! Well, let's go ahead and activate it and we'll eat here. Because even if we don't end up staying at this den, because I think the hidden temple den is just Niala's ancestral home. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of Thistleclaw. And remember how he had his fox den that was his, like, family fox den tree that was his ancestral home? That's what it reminds me of. And Niala has, like, her ruins who were her tiger, special tiger area once upon a time. Maybe she lived with, like, mystic humans who could control magic powers or something fun or at least they called it magic depending on what side of the story you want to take and so I don't want to leave her ruins but I do want to do some exploring and I think that it's kind of like she's got all of this legacy to preserve and she wants to keep the temple protected but the reality is nobody has been there in so long she's just holding on to old habits and doesn't really know why but doesn't want to question it so it wouldn't hurt to be able to go and find food elsewhere. And that's where Hinto comes in. Alright, swim, swim, swim. Climb, climb, climb. Almost there. Let's look for more food. Alright, he says this direction. What are we gonna find? Another hippo? Because that would be kind of amazing. There's something in the rock? Is there something up here? Alright, anything up here? Something to eat? I'm searching for you. <gasps> it's a panda! I don't really want to eat a panda though! But I can't deny that's a lot of food and we have tiger cubs to have. Oh, there's two pandas. Oh my goodness. All right. So I don't really want to eat panda though. I think that I'm going, I can't bring myself to eat a panda. I'm going to be honest. I think what I'm going to say is that pandas and giraffes may be related somehow to the treasures of the temple. Maybe there's some sort of peaceful, uh, peaceful connection. And so Niala won't hunt panda and she won't hunt giraffe because they are somehow related to the more peaceful um, things that her temple is in charge of guarding and watching over. All right, so let's see. There's our home. So let's go this direction. And we're going to get away from the pandas a little bit before we hunt for prey again. Is this bamboo? I bet this is a bunch of bamboo that the pandas eat. That's so cool. Can I be a panda? I can be a panda, right? I want to be a panda one day. All right, you guys. Level 25, and then we're going to be able to become a panda. Ooh, and I can't wait to do the voting to see what kind of animal will be next. And we will be hopefully doing, uh, as long as you guys are really into it, Ultimate Jungle Simulator for the entire month and maybe into the next month. It's just going to depend on how much you guys love it and what we're doing. And we will rotate back over to the other gluten-free games as long as you guys are enjoying them. And that's a lot of meat, so I'm sorry, elephant. I wish I could give you the same protection that I offer uh, to the giraffes and the pandas. 
but I, I, I just really need, I really need to have tiger cubs. So it's not personal. I'm sorry. Oh dear. Maybe I should put elephants under the same category. I wonder if we might get to the point where we only like attack some of the other predators. Hmm, I'll have to think about it. We'll see. We'll see what kind of myths and stories are woven out. <gasps> Look at all that food! Yes! Food! Good food! There we go. Like, I couldn't turn this food down. And there's a couple calves we can eat, too. Now, as a tiger, that's really good. And that's usually what, as a predator, we would tend to focus on rather than a healthy adult. Because healthy adults have hooves, and they hurt, and they can definitely kick you. But you guys should know that from a wolf quest, after all. Ooh, look, and there's a carcass. It's been so long since we found one of these. But you should know that from our hundreds and hundreds of episodes of adventures in Wolf Quest that you go for the weakest and the sickest first, and that is actually one of the important roles of an apex predator to be able to keep prey populations healthy by removing the unhealthy individuals and pushing for the genes that would encourage survival to come to the top. All right, let's see. Where are the calves, though? They have managed to wiggle away from me. Around the other side? I need the food. All right, let's see. Are they over here? Somewhere nearby. Ah, there it is. Perfect. And normally a tiger would be an ambush predator, not a speed chase down predator. It's jumping up the cliffside. <laughs> this may take some some effort to catch my dinner. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. I've got this. We're almost to the top, I think. Come on, keep going. Come on, Hito. I think Niala would be quite disgruntled to have to come this far. No! No, get back over here, dinner! Your name, your name is dinner! Get over here, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come back here! Come back here, I demand so! Alright, there it is, there it is! Almost there! I'm stuck behind a rock! <laughs> See, this, this would be an example of this guy fought for survival and had the traits, increased speed, that could possibly win him that that right. <gasps> Is that a waterfall? Yes, I love finding waterfalls. Oh, and finally, food. All right, Niala's going to help us out here. But yeah, normally tigers are ambush predators. That's what their stripes really help them out with. And they would hide in the tall grasses. Yes, all right. They would hide in the tall grasses and wait for prey to come to them. Or they would sneak up on the prey and then pounce. And then we would eat it. Uh, normally tigers also use their like immense weight to really bear down on the neck of the creatures that they are currently hunting and that's how they make their kills which is actually I think how a cougar makes their kills too stealth and then going for the neck you'd be amazed at what the the, the silly the silly vegan biologist knows oh my goodness and look at that elephant this is so pretty ah, and it's even laying down to like take a little bath can you be an elephant in ultimate savanna because I would totally try that out all right, come on, elephant. I'm sorry. You're just way too much meat for me to turn down. And Niall is using her special floating magic powers to be able to help us out with eating you. Go, Niala. You have learned some special skills from your temple background, that's for sure. All right, there's a little bit more. And we still need to work on... <gasps> what? What? A temple entrance behind the waterfall? That's amazing! Wow, there are so many places to discover. Niala! Niala! I can't decide if I would want this to become our home even more. Look how big it is, Niala! This is amazing! I wish I was an archaeologist. I bet I'd be able to discover so much information about this place. This is so cool. You don't even have to, like, leave the den to get a good drink. You just walk up to the, the waterfall there and kind of, like, open your mouth and... Oh, there's even fish in the waterfall! Niala! Maybe we should hang out here while we raise our babies, since uh, tigers will normally take a little den, at least for the first couple months of a tiger cub's life. And let's go ahead and sleep so we can see what it looks like in the daytime. Absolutely beautiful is the answer. But yeah, normally, uh, until about eight weeks, uh, tigers will... The tiger female, keep in mind, the male normally isn't helping out. Ginto. But the tiger female will come and find a den and then keep her babies there. And they'll have backup dens. I was so excited to see so many of you guys talking about that. We just got a fish! Neil! I was able to fetch us a fish just like straight out of the water right here next to our awesome waterfall. This is amazing. I would be seriously tempted to stay here. 
let's swim over and grab this fish. And I don't know. I'm going to have to think about this, guys. We might do a bit more exploring. I know we have to go fight a certain panther to prove our dominance of this area. Hey, get over here, floppy fish. Am I seriously? Okay. Perfect pounce on floppy fish. Not going to question it. Not going to not going to protest. Not going to protest. This is this is pretty amazing after all. Let's swim into our den. I wonder if you can get a carcass out of leaving out of leaving a fish inside of this den. Maybe not, maybe not, but this is pretty awesome looking actually. Isn't this cool? I want to see the waterfall a little bit better. There's even a little rock we could stand on, Niala. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you want to stay here for our babies? Maybe she does. I don't know guys. Which den do you think we've seen so far that's the best? I think we should look around this one a little bit more. We'll try to decide after we, we study this one a little bit more and then see if this is really the place for us. Niala, where did you go? Like, where are you eating that meat? Is there a secret passage? Niala, is there a secret passage in here? No? Oh, where? there you are. Oh, I think she was just over here eating, eating the meat kind of like in the corner. Yeah, that's where she went. Okay, so no secret passages, even though that would be really cool if you could like wiggle. Oh, wait, wait, Niala. Maybe there is a secret passage, Niala. No, I just climbed straight up the wall instead. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to chalk that up to more of your special super secret tiger powers that you've learned from the temple ruins. And we'll explore around here because we found a lot more prey this time around than we have in quite a while. And we'll start poking around and looking for any more secrets that we might stumble upon in this beautiful jungle. Wow, we went a lot further than I thought we did too. And we might start heading our way over to tell that panther what for and uh, see if that gives us the experience we need for Niala to be confident enough to have some beautiful tiger cubs with us. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Mm.